my items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about my bread and butter bolos. Bread and butter? What? What are you selling? I'm not selling bread and butter. Bread and butter bolos are my items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And these are the items that keep my store making sales every day. So don't dismiss the bread and butter. Let's get started. Plus, I pick these items up cheap, and they are easier to find. So let's start with this first one, Derry Silicone Candle Bulbs. I picked these up at a garage sale. I paid $3, I think, for four or five packs. Five packs, because one sold, I have four left. There you go. Um, and I sold these for a best offer of $9.92 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see right here, it says $16. My sale was not running when I popped this up. So that's the uh, that's without the sale price. So the best offer of $9.92 was taken based on my sale price. This right here is a Gund Snuffles Teddy Polar Bear. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins. I sold it for $12.40. And the buyer paid shipping plush is a great bread and butter bolo. A lot of times they take a while to sell their long tail. However, there are some plush that go for crazy money. I'm talking hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars. So be sure to type in Bolo Buddies plush into the YouTube search. And you're going to see some big money plush that is going to like, you're going to be like, what? 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 Yeah, check those out. Now, again, most is bread and butter. This is a cupcake panty um, off and toss, I think is how you say it. They're hipster panties. And I have over 20 of these available. So if you need some panties, come make me an offer. I sold these for $11.69 and the buyer paid shipping. I did open up one pack and I probably should go back and do... Um, like a uh, white out the background because people are probably like, why are these underwear on your carpet? <laughs> but it's only one pack that I did that with. And this was back when I first moved in and my carpet was brand new. So had these listed a long time. I bought a whole bunch of these in bulk at a place called Discount Fashion Warehouse. I want to say I paid about a buck each for them. So just going to flip them and keep turning them. All right, the next is this Calico Critters Red Roof Country Home Replacement Bunny Piano Bed Table. Basically, it's dollhouse furniture for Calico Critters. I could have parted this out, probably made more money, but um, looking for the bulk little sale. Bought it for 50 cents, sold it for 20 on best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Radio Shack VHS cassette adapter. This came from the White Elephant Um party not this year but last year uh i have a video that says the strangest place i've ever sourced you guys should go watch it it is hilarious the things i got at white elephant and guess what i listed them on ebay this did take about a year to sell but hey i sold it for 26 dollars plus the buyer paid shipping and i got it free as a white elephant gift the next item is this vintage 1994 Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Replacement Slide. I sold this one for $14.95 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill Bins. The next item is this Estee, D Estee Lauder White Linen Shell Candle. Ah, say that three times fast. I sold this for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. Um, I did take a lower offer on this. I could have held out for more, but was just looking for the quick sale and it did sell quick. So any discontinued candles, look them up. I do have a video on uh, candles that sell for big money. And if you want to have your socks knocked off, go check that out. Put Bolo Buddies candle in the YouTube search bar. Oh my goodness. Little Pet Shop. This is when I went to the Goodwill Bins with my friend and I had her source for me. And I bought a bag of stuff, or she bought it, and I paid for it. Okay, she put it in the bag, and I paid for it. So I wasn't really sure what I was getting. And when I got home, I did an unbagging, and I have a video on that. But this is one of the items she picked up. 
And this came from the Goodwill bins. So probably, I don't know, 50 cents in it. And I sold it for a best offer of 28 plus shipping. So she did a good job on that one. The next item are these Waterbridge electric plate warmer tan retired 2003. And one thing to note is she is not a reseller. So she was kind of uh, thrifting for resale and not really knowing what she was doing. That was the fun part. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for 30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I got from Whatnot from Catfield and Thrifty. I have a whole video on it. She was having a this and that show and she was selling everything starting at a dollar and two dollars. I paid two dollars and 15 cents for this and I sold it for twenty six dollars plus shipping. Can you source on Whatnot? Yes. Go follow Catfield and Thrifty. She is awesome. She sells tons of vintage jewelry and I'm talking the lady finds the best jewelry and she does have this and that shows as well so check her out these are the disney tiny kingdom figurines winnie the pooh lot there's four of them here i got these at a garage sale for three dollars sold them for 26 plus shipping and back over here to whatnot if you guys aren't on whatnot i do have a referral link down below where you can get 15 dollars to shop if you join with that referral link, it's down in the description of the video and come follow me on whatnot. I am selling over there and I usually start my items at $5 or less and I sell tons of jewelry and other items. So I'd hope to see, I hope to see you over at a whatnot show. No pressure to buy, just come hang out and it's a lot of fun. A lot of untanglings and unsearched jewelry is what I'm doing and it's super, super fun. So you kind of get that um, experience of an untangling or what am I going to find? Plus I sell it and you see what it sold for. This is an egg, a miniature carved stone egg with a nativity inside of it. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and sold it for a best offer of 14 plus shipping. These are genealogy jeans. I have had these listed since July of 2022. Now that was a relist because they have been listed way longer. And I know that because they are on my carpet. Sold this for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I paid a dollar for these at Gabriel Brothers, if I remember correctly. This is a vintage Wendy's Hearts Big Bear Holiday Parade Knit Palm Ski Hat. It's a winter beanie, guys. How cool is that? I got it at the Goodwill Bins. Probably cost me about a dollar. And I sold this for $21.70 and the buyer paid shipping. So a lot of old vintage advertising there. This one is another hat. I got this one, I believe, at the bins also, but not 100% sure. I didn't have it in my notes. It's a Nike Ohio State Buckeyes hat. And I sold this one for $17.36 and the buyer paid shipping. This is an express dress size six. And I sold this for a best offer of $13.94 and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I'm sold out of this one. Uh, I do have some other sizes available. Just sold another one that was a size four. So getting slim pickings on these. It's kind of a hot item right now. Not sure why, because I've had them listed for quite a while, but I'll take it. The next one is this Our Generation purse. I got this at the Goodwill bins. So probably a quarter or something, super lightweight. Sold it for $9.30 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Cabbage Patch kids bottle from 2011. I always pick up these replacement bottles. Uh, they sell. People look for them. They lose them. Sold this for $9 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This has been listed forever. Um, it looks like I relisted it in March of 2023. But when I tell you a long, long time, it has been listed a long time. So maybe relisting it was a good choice. It is a vintage Sheffield, England stainless steel letter opener, wood duck head. I got this. I don't even know where because like I said, it's been listed for a long, long time. I'm probably talking seven, eight years and probably paid a buck or less for it. Probably a garage sale. Sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. The next item is this train stocking holder Christmas decor. I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. Probably had about a dollar in it. Sold it, I believe, let's see, after Christmas. Yep, ended December 31st, after Christmas. And I sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item is this Transformers Play School Heroes Rescue, Rescue Bots Energize a Bumblebee action figure. And it turns into... Um, hold on. Maybe I show you this guy right here. And I sold this for $9 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this bobblehead. It's a nodder. That's another name for a bobblehead, nodder. So use that in your title if you ever have one of these. It is a gift craft dog, Japan Bulldog. And I took a best offer of 30 on this and the buyer paid shipping. It's got some condition issues. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. Look at that face. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And there's the bottom. The next item is this express skirt. Pick this up. I believe this was a discount fashion warehouse purchase also. Probably anywhere from $1 to $3 on that. And I sold it for a best offer of nine and the buyer paid shipping. I have a whole bunch of express skirts. Um, I've sold most of them, but still have some left if you're looking for a skirt. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, lots of bread and butter bolo videos. I also have my big money bolo videos. I have category videos. I have big money bolos that people in my Facebook group sold. Oh my goodness. You got to see those videos. Crazy big money bolos. And if you guys want to share a bolo to be featured in one of my bolo buddies videos, go over to my Facebook group under the featured section and look for the share post. There's more details there on how to share. Uh, my Facebook groups are linked under my link tree down below in the description. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.